Crimson as April came. They finally reached Echinoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your Kipu, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges One was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire to start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork. But I suspect the BB program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the President himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening. Be advised, Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long-distance transport. 
The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless driving, an unbalanced carrier. There are all kinds of ways the traps could fail. Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. If it goes off, you're doing it wrong. And if the bomb goes off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. The kind we can't come back from. We'll see. games, Mama. <laughs> I don't think you heard me, mister. Mountain Hot City is telling you and the UCA to take a hike. You people keep doing what you're doing, and you're gonna put us right back on the road to the Death Stranding. We didn't ask for you to come and tell us how to live our lives. We'll decide that for ourselves, thank you very much. All we want from you is the occasional delivery. Nothing else. So you speak for the city. That's right. I'm in charge. The name's Lochna. Lochna? Hold up, I, I need to talk to you. You're a technician, right? Look, go home and don't come back. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. But we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former Bridges One. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lachna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lachna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that led them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingan's accident. Lachna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lachna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though, if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lochna around. Which would be great, because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Only gonna get harder.
Hey, Sam. Thanks for coming back. Got something for you. These are your new cufflinks. They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. And they're weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. I should explain. BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom, void up. But, just as Dead Man theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. So, I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT, and it returns to the world of the dead. No BT, no void out. Win-win. These things can cut them loose. If you can get close enough without them noticing, yes. Cord snipping super handcuffs. Right. Let's try them out. Cut the cord connecting us. She's sound asleep. I made sure she got plenty of milk. Just do it. Please, Sam. Set us free. This world was never hers, but... All the same, I didn't want her to leave it. Even though she's already lost. Truth is... She's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie? No. That part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lochna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was all right with it. I mean, <laughs> children, who needs them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lachna wanted a child, someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course, as was I. Back then, strong emotions like that, I could feel hers and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, to end it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm. And I carried it to term. A healthy baby grew inside of me. But then there was the attack. And our bond was severed. I wanted to tell her. But I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her. But I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. You have to break some ties to forge others. Keep me tied to everything. If we're going to reconnect the world, I need to reconnect with my sister first. So please, Sam. Do it.
take me home, though, Agna. Sam, would you zip me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. Are you sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine, so long as I can see out of the bag. The warmth of the light touch of the wind, the scent of the world. Lucky you. Two of you are still connected. Okay, Sam. Let's go.